So what do you do if your client is having knee pain when you're showing them half kneeling? So they're in this position and then they tell you that hurts my knee. So step number one, ask them, can you show me where? Because a lot of the times new clients will tell me that they're having knee pain when I show them how to squat for the first time or half kneeling. And a lot of the times I'll ask them, show me where and the point right here. So step one, ask them where, because if it's quads, you can let them know that's normal and that's just muscles burning. But a lot of people do perceive this area burning as knee pain. And then step number two, easy fix, is having them come off dorsiflexion in the back. So you can see that when I come up on my toes, I increase the amount of knee flexion. So that's gonna pull on the quad a little more by flexing my knee. If someone is already very stiff there, that's gonna pull on it even more and that could cause some knee discomfort. So that can be an easy fix, just coming off the toes and the back. Step number three that you can do is allowing them to hinge back, which will do something similar to what you did with the toes coming down. And it's letting the quad come off or take load off the quad by flexing the hips a little more. Because if we're trying to get full hip extension, then that's going to pull on the quad a little more. If they don't have access to hip extension, that might can cause some knee discomfort. So hinging back. But the big thing here is notice how my front knee doesn't really move when I do that. What a lot of clients will do when I try to show them that is that this here. That will not take load off of me. I actually feel way more quad by doing it this way. So notice the difference. I want this versus this here. So just make sure you're not doing the second one. And then the fourth thing, which would be the second thing I would address, I would ask the whole time or towards the end? Because a lot of the times people will say towards the end. And if it's the third round, second set, then I point to the fact that they've been there for a while. I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? You've been there for a while. So by the time next time, next time you come in, it should be totally fine. If you're working with people who are deconditioned, who've never trained before, half kneeling, especially coached correctly, um, can be really challenging. And it can really put a lot of load on muscles that haven't had a